What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Krista Exposed. And, of course, I'm bringing you some more Katie T. Dirt, whatever the fuck you want to call it. She dirty motherfucker, so here she is. If you guys are curious about how she may treat her subscribers, um, people that actually pay to be members on her channel, a lot of times her chats are members-only chats, and, well, this is this is her members talking to her. Hey, Dad Pod. Dad Challenge podcast is premiering something. Anyway, <laughs> to continue, do not ask Katie about her hair. Here we go. This could the Duggars could literally pick their nose, and you guys would twenty thousand of you would watch it in the first. Well, first off, why the hell are you gonna bitch about yourselves watching the Duggars when you know you put out regularly Duggar content? You be digging your damn self a hole in the long run. I feel like, but anyway, uh. No, I don't understand um, why you want to dog your subs for liking the Duggars. Because they're bringing you the money. On top of that 40-hour paycheck that you get paid by Minnesota government every month. Um, you know, it is what it is. She gets paid 40 hours a week to take care of her child and do YouTube. I wish I could get it like that. Oh, and by the way, she has nurses that work 70 hours a week. First day. I don't understand. The obsession with the Duggars on this channel is by far the number one thing. Yep, it's what made your channel be what it is at this point. And I feel like there's just not enough people out there covering the Duggars to where these people feel like they are trapped watching you and dealing with your insults and your rudeness and disrespect. Um, why am I always touching the left side of my head? Why not? Why am I always touching the left side of my head? Why not? Why? Seriously, though, why? Why are you doing it? Because you're insecure about that side of your head because you screwed up on a haircut a while back. You shaved the side of your head. You didn't even want to admit it publicly. Over a year ago, I asked the lady. I went in her chats. I had just started watching her. I didn't have a problem with her. And I said, oh, I like how this, the, the side of your head is shaved with your hair. I was like, I like it. And she was like, it's not shaved. I'm like, bitch, I'm looking at it. It's shaved. Nope, it's not shaved. She'll still swear up and down it was never shaved. That is the same side of the head that she's having this hair problem on. Not to mention all of the, the pulling that she does on her hair on a constant basis. Um, continue on, Miss Katie. Does it bother you? Does it bother you that I touched my body? Okay, well, why, well, why did you have to go there with it? See, that just made it gross. Like, nobody wants to see you touch your body. Nobody was even talking about you touching your body. They want to ask why you want to touch the left side of your head, the fucking, where you have no hair, where you've pulled it all out. You got pandemic shit going on, and you just won't admit it. Like, either that or you're just so spun on your Adderall that you, you shit's just falling out, and that shit happens. I mean, when you abuse, even if you're prescribed medication, you can still abuse it. Just saying. Why do you always ask me questions about my hair? Because you are always, always, always talking about your hair or doing something with your hair new or you've got something going on. You bring up your hair just as much as any fucking body else. You ain't gonna be able to bring it up much longer because uh, it looks like it's retreating off the back of that dome. <laughs> oh, look at this face, guys. Does it bother you that I touch my hair? No. You just bother us. You just bother a lot of people. And the way you just said that was the creepiest, I swear. <laughs> you guys. Anyways, we're only 30 seconds into this video. And just continue to listen to how she talks to her subscribers, her members. Okay. So I think that's the silliest question to ask someone. Like, why do you care if I touch my hair? Do you watch some YouTube? Okay, maybe they care because they actually care about your well-being and they see something is going on with you that you will not admit. Um, I have dealt with addiction in my life, um, as you guys know from my channel. And I, what I see here is somebody who is in denial. Um, her physical appearance has shown over the last six months that I disappeared um, pretty much from YouTube and come back and that she looked like she'd been on a crack bender for months. Um, come on, Katie. Just get clean. Get clean with me, yo.
tubers. Have you seen how much like Blair White touches her hair? Her entire video, she goes like this and she has- But she has very long, pretty hair that she doesn't complain about on a regular basis. So why would anybody complain about that? But you're constantly complaining about how your hair is doing this and how it's in bad shape and how you this has happened to your hair and that's happened to your hair. So yeah, people are invested in what's going on with your hair and they wanna know why you keep touching it because you're making it fall out yourself. But you know, that's just your people that are worried about you. I don't understand why the fuck you wanna attack them has a brush on her channel where she's literally brushing her hair because she has hair like why are people so weird about people touching their hair it's youtube it's, it's not people being weird about people touching their hair it's your subscribers and your non-subscribers wondering what the fuck is going on in the motherfucking without a crystal ball world for real because you look like you've been through it it's not that serious even Eugenia, like I've seen you, I've seen lots of streamers touch their hair. It's Not like you though, Katie. You you got something special, yo. You touch that hair in just that special way. You fucking weirdo. It's just a habit. It's weird. Yep, you are. It's weird and you're weird. I do the Bates family, yes. Um, although the Bates family is iffy on, well, like... Yes, I do the Bates family. Yes, she does the Bates family, but it doesn't bring her in as much money, so she doesn't do it very often. So it's very iffy on when and where she'll post this information about the Bates because they don't bring her money, basically. That's that's Katie, you know, interpreting Katie's words into basic English. I don't know. She's just, she's too much, guys. She's too much. Family. I just don't do them as much. Imagine... Some of the things people get upset about me lately, so weird. Really? Really, uh, honestly, Katie, these, the, the, these same things that people are saying now, they've been saying for over a year that I've been on YouTube. When you had 15,000 subs, now you have 10 times that, but no more interaction on your channel. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm deflecting about my hair. Absolutely, 100%. That is deflection. Yes, Katie, you are deflecting. Is that why do I touch my hair is deflecting? <laughs> That's hilarious. And those facial expressions, guys, what is the fuck is up with that? Why is she doing these weird ass faces? Somebody said they, she was controlling her facial expressions the other day, and I, is this what this is? If so, oh my. Hey. She has no control. If you need help, Todd, blink three long times, three short ones, three long times. We'll know you're in distress. That's SOS Morse code. There you go, Toddy. Toddy, Toddy, not too hotty. Make sure you blink three times, two times, three times. Carl know you need to help. He'll be sending his boys. I right, continue. Okay. I touched my hair because I touched my hair. Who cares? I touched my hair because I touched my hair. Oh my gosh. Like, I picked my nose because I picked my nose. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh my god. It's not that serious. Why do you breathe? You know? It's kind of like... <laughs> well, basically, why are you alive, bitch? <laughs> not, not anything halfway nice. Nothing. Why do you breathe? Bitch, why are you alive? Why are you in my shit fucking with me right now? That's what she wanted to say. That's... That's real Katie right there. But no, she's trying to put on that front. Why he breathe? Oh my God. That's people who pay her for her channel content. Wow. Like that question. It's just what I do. I'm, I haven't, I like to touch my hair. It's just what I do. I like to touch my hair. Well, I wouldn't like to be touching my hair if it was falling out on a regular basis like your shit is because of you yeah, touching it. Yeah, for real. And it literally looks like your hairline is running from your eyebrows. I don't know what's going on at this point. Okay. Yay hair. <laughs> Yay hair. She's so fucking pissed right now, guys. She's so mad. <laughs> Yay hair. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Anyways, the duggers. Continue. So much hair. 
so much hair. Oh my god. Hair, hair, hair. Isn't there like a song from like the 1970s? Hair. Long, beautiful hair. <laughs> Anyways, she ain't got no long, beautiful hair. Anyway. Because it makes me look insecure and self-obsessed. Well, no, it's more like a tick. Really? Honestly, Katie, it makes you look self-absorbed and self-obsessed? There's many things that make you look that way, not just the way you respond to people about your hair. Do you guys have something that you self-soothe? Do you... No, I, I don't rub myself or her, you know, well, I mean, I, I mean, everybody, you know what I'm saying, flick the bean every once in a while, but, you know, <laughs> I don't self-soothe, you know, I don't rub my head or my earlobe or, you know, suck on a pacifier or nothing like that. I grew out of that shit when I became a grown-up. I don't know about you, but I don't know. Anyway. Fiddle? Do you play with things? It's not. No, but hold on. Your Adderall, your Adderall should be helping you keep from doing that, right? That's what you're giving your Adderall for is your ADHD and know the tendencies of ADHD or ADD. And that's what your medication should be helping, but it's not. Hmm, I wonder if you take a medication for a certain disease and it doesn't work, if you should keep taking it. What do you think, Carl? Not, you see. I, at the end of the day, my medicine doesn't wear off. I'm on a regimen. My medicine, where I, it's in my system throughout the day and evening. I take my last dose this evening and go to sleep. Well, on the other hand, you couldn't do that unless you had a 12-pack and a couple of volume or something, probably, because uh, you can <laughs> fucking pull more of that nappy hair you got left out of your head. <laughs> Not even really. It's just a calming. And if I was self obsessed It's just a calming... It's just a calming, and she pulls the hair again. Come on, Katie! Stop being such a fucking easy target to fucking do this to. Like, come on. You're, you, sorry though, but in, in, in reality, guys, we all know how she treats everyone that she does a story on. We all know how she treats her subscribers. We all know how she treats her members, the people who pay she for her, her content, the same like way shit. she treats her husband and her kid, like Carl said, like shit. So, I wouldn't, if I was her, how could she expect anyone to treat her any better than she treats every single person around her in her life, including the nurses that come into her house, that she exposed their fucking sexuality to the full internet when that person hadn't even came out to their own family. Absorb and self-obsessed, why would it matter? I'll touch my hair if I want to. You sound like you have more of a problem than I do with it. Yes, she does have more of a problem than you do. Most people have more of a problem than you do with your issues because you just don't see nothing wrong in what you do. But one thing Carl just brought up here again, and I will mention it again, you've got nurses that are paid by the government 70 hours a week, and you're also paid for 40 hours a week to take care of your kid. Now, is this YouTube money and this Instagram money and all of these things that you are monetized on, is this being reported and turned into all these places? Like, is this shit eventually going to backfire on your ass, Roll girl? And get your ass in fraud. <laughs> Possibly embezzlement, yeah, fraud, fraud, all yeah. that. Just saying. J Janice. <laughs> I've never understood people getting... Is she calling her members out by name? Janice. Like, come on, Katie. You people are just, like, actually worried about you. Not really just trying to talk shit. I don't know. So weirded out about my hair. Who cares? Okay, um, it's like the favorite. You are extremely insecure about your hair and on a regular basis are touching it and talking about it. So I don't understand how you think anybody is going to shut up about it. Bad. It's like the one thing people love to badger me about. Okay. <laughs> oh, honey, there's so much more that you get badgered about. Your hair is just one of the, like, the look part in the look department. The eyebrows is in the look department. Now, when it comes to your personality, your character, that's a whole other monster. And I mean real motherfucking crawl out from underneath your bed out the closet at night when you were a little kid monster. All right. You bite your nails. I bet that's wine. Or like Godiva and coffee or Kahlua and coffee. You know what I'm saying? Like that bitch is not sitting there sober anymore, ever. Yeah, I do too. You bite your nails. I bite my- Oh, you bite your nails. That's nasty, 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 nasty. You know you get worms from that, right? 
you know, from gro that grody ass like shit underneath your nails causes worms. Uh, uh. Cuticles. Oh, and she eats her cuticles, so she likes eating her dead skin. That's wonderful, Katie. It just fucking. Uh, uh. And I twiddle with my hair. And I tw okay, so she eats her fingernails, she eats her cuticles, and she twiddles with her hair. Sounds like uh, signs of like a, a speed person on speed, right? Like an addict, a picker. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, you know, like. The Adderall is the legal form of meth. And if even if prescribed, if you don't need it and you take it, because I have ADD. I've been prescribed Adderall in the past. I don't take it no more because it speeds me up. That's the same thing I feel like she should have done, but she didn't do. Anyways, I think the video's ending. Yep, all right, guys. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you... Feel bad for Miss Katie? Do you understand where she's coming from? Or does she just look like a fucking complete mess? I, I think she's a complete mess at this point. But if you don't know her very well, you, yeah, you probably don't know what's going on. You may not make that judgment from Sully this video, but just know that that's how she was talking to her members and subscribers that support her channel. Now, imagine if it was anyone else at all. Um, she has no respect for anyone. She will throw anyone under the bus. There is no off the record with this woman. She is the evil, the evil Miss Katie Joy without a crystal fucking ball. That's for sure. Talk to you guys later. Mwah. Subscribe, thumbs up. You know what to do.